first company we had was a dental outfit in 1979. So we were very familiar with the aesthetics of instrument. So even if it wasn't on the blueprint, we knew it had to be aesthetic looking. Because what does the doctor or the dentist want? Something looks nice, right? And that's how we had to make it. Hi, I'm Joe Hoppers with Swiss Precision Machining. We do CNC precision machining. We have CNC Swiss turning centers. We have 65 of them. They go up to 11 axes, so there's not many parts that we can't drop complete with no secondaries or maybe minor deburring. Okay, we also utilize vertical machining centers, which we can machine plates, blocks, forgings. We have 140 employees at Swiss. We moved to an 82,000 square foot facility in uh, Wheeling, Illinois. We run multiple shifts, six days a week, two shifts. We serve a lot of industries, but I would say 60 to 70% of our work is medical and surgical. On the Swiss machines, we can go up to 32 millimeter or inch and a quarter. Vertical machining, we machine orthodontic pliers out of forgings. We could machine castings, plates, blocks. Uh, we can go probably plus or minus one ten thousandths on some parts. Depends on the configuration. We do knurling, deburring, swedging, thread rolling. Yeah, we stock blanket orders for Kanbans just in time. This is a part for the archery industry. It's a broadhead, which is the tip of the arrow. This part is contour milled, slotted, cross drilled, and threaded. It's a very complex part, which you wouldn't think archery is, but they are complex parts. This is a swivel lock part, a bayonet fitting, and this is used in the electronics of an F-16. You can see how it's milled, knurled. We also have a Willimon Precision Machining Center. And what that is, it's bar fed by a six foot bar, and it's got 48 tools, 40,000 RPM. It's made for extremely complex parts. And what kind of parts are those? A lot of the surgical grippers that are used in surgery, which this is one of them. This is a part that's used in robotic surgery. You can see all the number of holes that are in it. Guide wires go through them to control the uh, grippers in robotic surgery. We help in the beginning stages of design for design for manufacturability so that we can make the part cost effective for the customer and manufacturable by us. This part is also used in robotic surgery. It's a series of parts actually. There's a clamping pulley that goes over the shaft and then the shaft is molded and this controls the grippers again in the instrument arm of the robotic surgery system. Quality, on-time delivery, continuous improvement, but I think the thing we like to do is partner with our customers. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.